way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. Um, she waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Uh, yeah, I... She, she probably didn't want to tell her. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Well, it could have been either way. If it was me and this house was just sitting here, I'd, I'd make it my own. I wish we'd stayed. Hmm. But I understand why we left. Yeah. Look at all this packing stuff. Oh, here's the little kitchen. Oh. Oh, leaf rubbings. I used to do that in school. Edith, Mum. Noodles on placement. Dawn Finch Kitchen. So, why did they leave a lot of the stuff here? My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Mm. Aww, even photos and stuff. And a jewelry. To teach and to learn. Dawn Finch. His death is um, very tragic too. He was trying to get people out. Sooner. Edith. Is this my room? Stars. <gasps> but it had to end one way or another. Oh. All that's left now was to tell you about that last night. I like this one too. This room is so cool. Got the little how is this still on? A little King Lewis. Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Little Edith. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Why would she want to leave her home? I understand that, and she probably needs help, but... I'd probably the be stepping to... power had been shut too. off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. Yeah. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Ah... Or that Edie had a key to it.
you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. I think because you're afraid of it, it'll only continue. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. Hmm. Yes and no. Yes and no. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Oh. Fuck? Hello. Swedish folktales. Gravity's rainbow. The weird. Solitude and the sublime? Cosmic cuisine? We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Oh. What are these? Oh, hello. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only a time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Doesn't that happen when there's an earthquake coming? Or am I wrong? It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. She can go back to There'd it. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle. Ah, the there you go. It was, a, it was an earthquake. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, oh. it smelled awful. <laughs> you know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Especially when... when the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I got turned around. Oh. Hello. Where am I going? Oh, am I going the wrong way? Seeing things. Oh. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Really? Oh, that's a, a but when thing. I saw them, they felt like old friends. Oh. That night. A lot of things came back. It's to the me. furniture. Or maybe I came back to them. I think you're the one that's coming back to them, Edie. Explain, but that I need you to try and. Edith, what are you doing in here? Oh, uh, it's mine, Edith. Uh, Mom, you're gonna rip wait, it. Wait, Let wait, go. wait, 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 wait. Hey. I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. Where did you go? I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Oh, bye, bye, Edie. The next morning, the band came to pick her up. She was already gone. Aww. After that, we moved around a lot. Oh, huh. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. Ah. 
My mom didn't like to talk about it. Oh, I understand. But she started getting sick a lot. Oh, no. <coughs> she got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. Last inch left alive. Until I found out about you. <laughs> I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. Very true. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Oh. I'm being born. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. Oh, and he's just a kid. I guess if you're reading this now. Oh, no. Things didn't work out that way. Edith died in childbirth. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh. She had a boy. I hope you named him Lewis Milton Gus Finch. Must have done this for his mom, or maybe his grandma. This was a beautiful game. It was very sad, but it was very beautiful. Okay, we're going back through them. <laughs> Oh, the little figure. Hi, Milton. <laughs> I don't know who had the... No, I know exactly who had the worst. It was Gregory. Poor, poor. Poor Gregory. I would honestly adore a house like this because I, I'm a maximalist at heart. I would fill every wall with photos and murals and artifacts and things that I collected while traveling and I would fill it with toys and collectibles and music and videotapes and just all these things I don't like them and there's the frog each room was incredibly unique as well felt really lived in like a whole family was there one day like she said <clears throat> a bomb went off sparing the furniture but killing everyone inside 
They must have come and picked up uh, to pick up Edie in the morning. And she had already passed and just everything stayed where it was. You know, the peaches. I hope that Lewis Milton Gus Finch, her son, I hope he actually lives a very full life and maybe he'll bring his family back here but it won't be a curse anymore. There'll only be fairy tales, stories and the curse will end with him. He won't believe in a curse and it was all just unfortunate circumstances and him and his family live long long lives and more and more generations move into the house oh, there's a music box <laughs> trick or treats my feet scared for life oh scarred for life too Edie Finch oh Lewis is in that photo There are play story options now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. So I can go anywhere? I could go to Gregory or Odin or Edie. Or Dawn. That was an absolutely beautiful game. I absolutely loved it. And that was What Remains of Edith Finch.